Let's discuss formal logic. But before we do that, let's talk about why we care. That is, why are we even studying formal logic? Well, one reason would be that if you're a computer science major, or even if you're not, maybe you do some programming. And logic is important in things like programming, because you get into things like this. I don't know if you know the, say, the C programming language, but if you do, then you know how to write things like this. If, you know, temperature greater than 100 and that's what that would mean, these two ampersands, and, uh, you know, age greater than 80, then you would do something. Okay? So this is technically logic that I'm using here. If you know about artificial intelligence, then you know that there are many ways to do what is considered artificial intelligence. And some of those ways make use of logic. Not all of them. There's other things that don't have anything to do with logic. But logic still plays a role in how we do AI, at least in certain fields or certain areas of AI. Studying logic, I think, also helps us better understand how to prove things. We will eventually spend a lot of time showing how to do proofs, and those proofs will typically be more numerical in nature because that's how people typically just learn to prove things. Uh, and so I'm not going to buck the trend and come up with something else. But even within logic, we will prove certain things. That is, we'll be given certain let's call them facts in quotes right now and eventually reach conclusions think about like Sherlock Holmes the fictional detective I think that's how he spells it All right. which that in itself leads us to another thing just better understand arguments in English or whatever language you speak And I don't mean arguments here by, you know, people are in an argument about to start throwing fists. I just mean people are discussing things and they're making certain claims. And while I don't really want to get into politics, if you do listen to people making what would be considered political statements, sometimes they'll say things that logically are incompatible. You know, it'd be the, the equivalent of saying something's too fast and also saying it's too slow. If you listen to them very uh, carefully, you realize they're making arguments like that that just don't make sense, okay? So it can maybe help you better understand those types of things and hopefully help you avoid doing the same thing, all right? So many of the things that we're going to do will deal with what are called statements or some people call these propositions. And these are things that have truth values. That is, they're true or they're false. Okay? So, for example, if I say three is an odd number, we know that's true. I could also say that three is an even number but we know that to be false but then I also could make this what in English we would call a statement I could say walk the dog now for our needs this is not a statement because this isn't true or false it might be true that I have walked the dog or I will walk the dog or whatever but simply saying walk the dog is neither true nor false. So this would not be a statement as we're discussing it here. Okay. So let's talk about representation before we uh, move on. All right. Let's think about math for a second. Now let's say we had this problem three apples 
plus four apples equals seven apples. That makes sense, right? And these are my units, apples. But how would you typically do this problem? Well, you'd leave out the apple and just say three plus four equals seven, right? Well, the same is gonna be true of things we do. While I might say, you know, uh, three is an odd number. Okay, let me put this in quotes. And I could use this in the things we're gonna end up doing. We typically then just replace it by some letter, typically capital letters like this. So I can have something like this, A, and that allows us to be more concise in what we're doing, right? So we can have different letters, A, B is, you know, the sky is blue, and so forth. And then we can work with A or B, or A and B or whatever, okay? So that's what we'll do, and we'll see how to start doing things with these in our next video.